Physics GRE. I'm working through some of these problems. I already worked through this one. I think I know the answer. Now I'm going to work through this one. I haven't worked through it yet. Okay. And this one, I, it seems already more complicated, but let's just jump right into it. So it has a picture up here. Let's, I'm going to redraw that picture so it looks a bit better. And I think it helps me consider what's happening. So I have uh, this m equals 0 0.5. Uh, v equals 2 meters per second in the x direction. And then this is m equals 1, v equals 1 in the y direction. And then they have, they don't have anything. Okay. Two objects are sliding on a frictionless surface as represented above, collide, and stick together. So call that, this is called that v2 at some angle. How much kinetic energy is converted to heat during the collision? That's a, that's a kind of an interesting question. Okay, so this is an inelastic collision. And in, in an inelastic, in an inelastic collision, in an inelastic collision, it's hard to say. In, in an inelastic collision, I know the following is true. Uh, P total one, the momentum before is equal to the momentum afterwards. The kinetic energy is not, but if I find the change in kinetic energy, I can do that. But what's important is that they have the same velocity afterwards. So let's just write this as two equations in the x and the y direction. So I'm going to say p total x1 equals p total y1. So before the collision, if I call this the x and the y direction, the momentum in the x direction is going to be, uh, let's just write it as, m1 v1 plus zero because that one's not moving in the x direction this only has a component in the x direction that has no component in the x direction and then afterwards that's going to be equal to m1 plus m2 v2x let's see now give me the x velocity of this after the collision and i actually can solve for that right now so v2x is going to be m1 v1 over m1 plus m2. And since I know the numbers, that's going to be uh, 0 0.5 times 2 over 0 0.5 plus 1. So that's going to be 1 over 1.5. So 1 divided by 1.5 is 0.3. Is that right? Okay, get out the calculator. I think you can use a calculator on the test. So clear. Uh, 1 divided by 1.5, and you say you should know that uh, it's 0 0.6. 0 0.667, that's fine. Now let's do the same thing for the y direction. So here I have 0 plus m2v2 equals m1 plus m2v2y. So v2y is going to be equal to uh, m2 v2 over m1 plus m2. So it's going to be 1 times 1 over 1.5. So that's the same thing. So 1.5. So this is 2 thirds, right? Yeah, so this is 2 thirds. Let's write this as 2 thirds and this is 2 thirds. And, and that makes sense, right? This is going to move off at a 45 degree angle because the momentum of this one is 1. The momentum of this one is 1. So the x momentum and the y momentum had to be the same afterwards. So that had to be moving at an angle. So now let's do this. Now let's say kinetic energy 1 is going to be 1 half m1 v1 squared plus 1 half m2 v2 squared. And I actually need that as a number. Okay, so let's get that as a number. Um, that's... I'm just going to plug it in. I don't even care. I'm just plugging away because what do I care? 0. 0.5 times m1 is 0. 0.5 times the velocity squared is 4 plus 0. 0.5 times 1 times 1. Dummy. So I get 1.5. Is that right? So that's going to be 2 squared is 4 but then 1, and this is 1 half, yeah, so 1.5 joules. 
afterwards, Ke2 is going to be, uh, I can treat it as one object, one half mass 1 plus mass 2 is 1.5 times the uh, Vx squared plus Vy squared. So it's going to be 1 half times 1.5 times uh, 2 thirds squared plus 2 thirds squared. I'll just use the 0.667. Okay, so let's do that, clear. 0 0.5 times 1.5 times parentheses uh, 0.667 squared plus 0.667 squared equals. And I get, what's that? 0.667, is that right? Okay, let's see if that's an option over here. So that's two thirds, not an option. Oh, that's how much, okay, two thirds. That's the kinetic energy final. But then I have to say that this is the kinetic energy before is gonna be equal to one, that's two thirds. Kinetic energy afterwards, no, 1.5 is three, three halves. Kinetic energy afterwards is, I just said it was two thirds. So now the change, I can't even see that. I'm just so flustered with this equation because it's just silly. So the change is going to be, let's just do the change, clear, uh, three halves minus two thirds. I get 0.833. So which one of these is 0.833? It's not that one. It must be this one. Clear, five divided by six. Yeah, so I think it's that one. And I, I, I feel bad, I feel embarrassed uh, for not doing the fractional way of doing this and cheating to the calculator. But I felt like I was under a time pressure and I think that's what you would be under too. 100 questions, look, look at this. 100 of these questions in 170 minutes. I mean, goodness gracious. Um, you could have done this a different way. I'm trying to think another way to do it just by using the numbers. You could calculate the kinetic energy before of this and then see which one of these would have a kinetic energy less than that, um, which there would be more than one. So, I don't know. It's not a bad question. It's just not a good question either. So, okay. Maybe that helped. I'm going to stop. Might do another one. If you really want me to do some, just let me know.